remain standing and join hands with that person close to you there as our pastor comes and leads us in our morning prayer time. Father God, we bow in your holy presence to thank you for your amazing grace, yes, Lord. for your forgiveness of our sins, for being our substitute on the cross of Calvary, to be our atoning sacrifice, that we could have the redemption of Jesus Christ. Through the cleansing of his blood, our sins have been washed away, and we have been made whole. And now we're the children of the Most High God. And we thank you for that privilege. Thank you for the privilege of being in your family, Father. Thank you for adopting us as your children. And help us to know how valuable we are to you. You love us with an everlasting, enduring love, a pure and holy love. And we praise you for that. And Lord, we pray for those that are upon our hearts this morning that have special needs in their life. Uh, there are so many. Each one of us in this audience, as we pray to you now, Father, have at least one person on our mind and our heart that we would love for someone to join us in prayer about. And so, Father, we want to lift those up to you now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I want to pray for Dalton Edwards and Ann Simpson who are going through deep troubled waters in their life now. And I pray that your healing hand would touch their bodies and bring restoration and health and wholeness. And we pray that for all who have that need, Father. And we pray for those who are lost outside of Jesus Christ. And we pray that they will come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, even this day, Lord, as we've come to worship you. We love you, we praise you, and we bless you. And all of God's children said, Amen. 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 Well, good morning, and it is so good to see you here in the Lord's house this morning to come and to worship it with us in this place today. God is good. Amen? Amen. Try that again. God is good. All the time. time. Quite a few things in the bulletin this morning. Please take heed of those things and and be aware of the things that are happening and be where you need to be. I have (coughs) a couple of announcements I want to to point out this morning. Um, The Building Fundraising Committee will have a church fall festival on Saturday, October the 12th from 3 to 8. Uh, there will be games, cakewalks, hay rides, food, 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 oh, excuse me, solid auction, music, and Scoop the Frog from Sweet Frogs will be here. He'll be a special visitor. Uh, if you would like to help with any of the games and sign up to help with that, please see Robbie Kay uh, and let her know that you'd like to help with that. Uh, they're going to be selling raffle tickets for RJ's Car Wash on 115. Uh, So please see a committee member to buy your tickets for that. Uh, We also need folks to bring individually wrapped candy and two-liter drinks. There will be a box in the front starting Wednesday night to place those donations in. And if you're willing to make cakes or cupcakes or would like to donate a silent auction item, please see Denise Martin, Pam Christopher, or Robbie K. Taylor. So... That's coming up and will be a a fun time in the life of our church family uh, on October the 12th and a time to also raise some money for the building fund. Uh, Budget request forms are due next Sunday. Uh, All department heads and committees, please be mindful of that. Hopefully you're already working on that. If you would like to help with trunk or treat, this is coming up at the end of the month. Uh, The goal this year is 50 trunks because I understand, Elizabeth, they're not doing games, right? 15. Well, let's just go for 50. Okay, all right. 15. I misunderstood her. All right, 15 or more trunks this year. Uh, See Elizabeth and let her know that you would uh, be willing to help with that. Donations for trunk or treat need to be in the kitchen by October 27th. So please please be aware of that. Also, uh, I still think 50 sounds good, but anyway. All right. Uh, Drama team need to meet tonight at 5, and we have a youth leaders meeting at 5.30, but tonight we're having a very special service uh, for a little while now. Kelly and the drama team have been working on a special presentation, and they're going to do that tonight, Uh, and they have worked hard. Kelly has been very diligent to work on this and uh, put in many, many hours, and and, uh, so I want you to come and support this uh, presentation tonight. 
you will be blessed and it will bless them if you're here to see that. So come tonight and bring friends and, and uh, be here for this special drama presentation tonight for our evening service. It'll be a special time in the life of our church. I think that's the main things that we need to, to go over. Okay, Denise Martin needs to meet with the building fundraising committee right up front, right here, okay, right after church for just a couple of minutes, so uh, please add that in. Okay, uh, I have a special thank you card here this morning. Uh, Miss Edna Millsaps had surgery on Friday. She's doing very well. She's back home at her daughter's home. Uh, dear church family, thank you for the many thoughtful cards and calls that I have received from you. Your love and support have lifted me up through difficult times. God bless you, Edna Millsaps. So I wanted to share that with the church family this morning. Miss Caroline Millsaps is going to come at this time and share with us a scripture and a devotion. Uh, Good morning. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite verses. It's Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And I have um, part of a devotion by Sheila Walsh. Walsh excuse me. Our hope in Christ is surer than anything we can see and experience on this earth. And we arrive at this place through faith. Faith is a living thing. It is our lifestyle. It is a commitment to walk in the footsteps of Christ. Not knowing what lies ahead, but knowing that he is with us, therefore we can take the next step.
Let's pray. Yes, Lord, we've come into your house and we've gathered in your name to worship you. And Father, we give you all the glory for you and you alone are worthy of our praise. Father, thank you so much for your love and your goodness to us. Thank you for the blood, the blood of Jesus that cleanses us of all sin. Thank you, Lord, for reaching down and touching us. Thank you, Lord, for being in this place this morning. Father, let us just to continue to worship you in our hearts and with our mouths this day. In Jesus' name, amen.